Okay, so we're going to have a go at some paper cut art in order to cast some interesting shadows and create some excellent photography. I'm basing this on the work of Sue Kim and I'm using the photo that I took of some trees for inspiration. So your design needs to be relatively simple and we're going to cut out the pattern afterwards. So here I go. So, as you can see, uh, your design doesn't need to be overly complicated. If you've gone wrong, it doesn't matter because you're going to cut these shapes out. So we're now going to start to cut out our shapes. Okay, so now we've done our drawing. We're going to just cut out the uh, shapes. So we're cutting out the shapes. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that the uh, piece joins together. So I'm going to have plenty of connecting branches. So okay, so now I've cut it all out. Um, I did. I used a pair of scissors, nice and simple. Um, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, something that you can do at home. So it doesn't really matter about the quality of the paper. The thicker the better, obviously. So there's my design. I'm now going to put it together. So I'm just going to use a little bit of sellotape. You could use absolutely anything. And what I'm going to do is try and make it so I can have it standing up. So, there we go. Okay, so this is the finished article. I've created a cylinder using sellotape, propped it up, and then it's about the photos that we're going to get and the shadows that we can cast with different light sources. Keeping it super simple, I'm just using the light from my phone or a torch to cast the shadows. Nice and easy. Okay, have fun.